Bei Dao in Chinese means Big Dipper. This name began to appear in the Book of Wei Shu called Spring and Autumn Movement Dao Shu, in the Han Dynasty about 2200 years ago. The Big Dipper consists of seven bright stars in the constellation Ursa Major, arranged in the shape of a bucket or spoon in the northern sky, because these seven stars are easier to recognize by stargazers, they are often used as an important sign to indicate directions of north. Today the name of Bei Dao is given to 55 newborn stars, the 55 satellites. We call the Bei Dao Global Navigation Satellite System. On the morning of June 23, 2020, in the hinterland of Daliang Mountain, Sichuan, the earth began to tremble, and gushing flames rose into the sky. The Long March carrier rocket lifted up. The 55th Bay Dao navigation satellite went through the clouds and ran into space. A special camera captured the real scene of the satellite unfolding its solar panels. It seems like a movement is ushering in the most exciting melody. As the last launch of the Bay Dao 3 satellite global network, the whole world is watching Bay Dao. He Chinese independently built a global satellite navigation system in 26 years. In November 1970, six months after the launch of the Dongfang Hong-1 satellite, China's first demonstration report on the development of a navigation satellite was completed. The navigation system that has been prototyped has a vivid code name, Lighthouse Project. However, due to limit of the technology, financial resources and aerospace research direction at the time, the Lighthouse Project had been put on hold. The tragedy of an international passenger plane disaster in 1983 indirectly contributed to the announcement by US President Reagan that the Global Positioning System GPS which was under construction at that time will open its navigation signals for civilians use at a restricted accuracy. At this time, the investment of the United States and the Soviet Union in the development of global navigation systems has exceeded $100 billion, respectively. China was obviously not ready for that. Faced with reality, Dr. Chen Fang Yun used the geosynchronous satellite technology that China has just mastered and put forward an innovative idea that breaks the traditional scientific thoughts. Later called, dual satellite positioning. Dual satellite positioning is based on two geosynchronous communication satellites forming two virtual spheres with the distance between the satellite and the user as the radius. One of the two points where the sphere intersects is the location of the user. Then use the calculation of the Earth center to form a third virtual sphere with the radius between the center of the Earth and the user to obtain an accurate position. In order to verify the feasibility of dual satellite positioning, Chen Fang Yun led the research team at satellite measurement and control stations in Xinjiang, Guangxi, and Beijing. Using the maintenance window of two communication satellites at midnight and two o'clock to conduct experiments. This photo was taken on September 25, 1989. On that day, China's first demonstration of the positioning function using two satellites was successful. There were still many factors that need to be considered whether or not immediately start the expensive navigation satellite project.
1990, the Gulf War that shook the world started under the watchful eyes of the whole world. For the first time, American GPS has been a great success in the form of weapon guidance. In the summary report, the Americans attributed the Gulf War to GPS victory. Both China and the world have felt the importance of owning navigation satellites from this modern war. In February 1994, an official paper titled, Notice on Printing and Distributing the Project Approval Report of the Dual Satellite Navigation and Positioning System, marked the official launch of the Beidou-1. This year, Sun Jia Dong was 65 already he was appointed as the chief designer of the project. In the 1950s, Sun Jia Dong, who had studied in the Soviet Union, was deeply influenced by the Russian version of book titled Theory on System Engineering Control. The author of the book is Chen Shu Sen. When China began to develop the first satellite, Chen Xu Sen specially transferred Sun Jia Dong to serve as the chief grand designer of the Dong Fang Hong 1 satellite. Now a new challenge has begun. Both the United States and the Soviet Union chose to directly build a global navigation system in one step. However, for China at that time, the scientific research funding, technical foundation, and talent team of the early Beidou project were very scarce. China must find a new technological path. With the deepening of practice and exploration, the development thinking of three steps gradually became clear. The first step is Beidou-1 serves China only to achieve a zero breakthrough in regional satellite positioning. The second step is Beidou 2 covers the Asia-Pacific region to achieve integrated functions such as positioning, navigation, timing and communication. The third step Beidou 3 then achieve global networking to serve the world. Beginning in 1994, Beidou-1 has transformed from design drawings into real satellites. Under the system organization of the Aerospace Grand Design, the multiple subsystems such as rocket, launch site, measurement setups, control center, and operation control and transportation have been established successively. In October and December 2000, the two Beidou-1 satellites entered the predetermined orbits in space. China became the third country to have a satellite navigation and positioning system after the United States and Russia. Beidou-1 has SMS functions that other navigation systems do not have. People can send text messages to each other. It just so happens that the dual satellite positioning test in the 1980s was done by communication satellites. It has been discovered that in addition to signal communication between satellites and users, limited channels can also be used to transmit text. With the Beidou short message, people working at sea can report safety news to their families at any time. By 2002, more than 70,000 fishing boats and law enforcement agencies were using Beidou terminals. In the fishery sector alone, more than 10,000 people have been rescued based on Beidou satellites. Chinese fishermen who prayed for safety before going out to sea have called Beidou the Mazu of the Sea. Looking up to the space, it is vast. The universe is so unfathomable. But for navigation satellites, 
it stays with us all the time to maintain communication with the ground. Only the right orbits and the right communication frequency band can make the satellite positioning work. Due to an early start, the United States and Russia occupy 80% of the available frequency bands, so-called golden navigation band. Little room for development is left for China. In June 2006, in response to applications from China and the European Union, the United Nations International Telecommunication Union squeezed out the last frequency band from the available navigation frequency bands for equal applications by all countries in the world. According to the international rules of first use, first served, and overdue void, the application period for frequency resources is seven years. This means that China must launch a satellite and successfully transmit and receive the signal before April 17, 2007. Otherwise, China will miss an opportunity to deploy Beidou navigation satellite systems. All efforts and all visions of Beidou to build a global navigation system will be vanished. The Beidou 2, which has just started, must face a race against time. In order to smoothly be certified to use the satellite orbit and frequency as officially and legally, China need to launch Beidou satellites to put the navigation system on track as soon as possible. From 2000 to 2003, China launched three Beidou 2 test satellites. At the same time, China hoped to be able to import the most important core part from abroad, which is the atomic clock to provide this most important part for the Beidou satellites to be launched in large numbers in the near future. In 2005, the development and production of Beidou 2 had entered the most intense stage. The domestic rubidium atomic clock for satellites still has a gap of meeting with the design requirements. Satellite atomic clocks provide time frequency reference for navigation. It is an important core component, as if a heart in our body. It determines the basis of satellite positioning and timing accuracy. The four rubidium atomic clocks installed on the first Beidou 2 satellite adopted a configuration that uses one domestically produced and three are imported from aboard. However, in the international market at that time, Western countries banned the sale of high-tech products such as satellite atomic clocks to China. After negotiations, only one European company expressed its willingness to sell atomic clocks to China. However, not only the price has risen again and again, but also the performance, quality, and delivery schedule, and service are not promised. Without this atomic clock, we will have no basis for the timing, then the Bay Dao system is like an aerial loft. It would be a useless system. So this atomic clock is a core of the whole system. The core technology is the biggest life saver of the navigation system. Only by mastering the core technology can we truly grasp the initiative of competition and development, and can fundamentally guarantee the national economic security, national defense security and other security. There is only one way before the Bay Dao people, that is independent innovation. The core key technology must be broken through. We must own it ourselves. Cannot be controlled by others. Several scientific research institutes are mobilized at the same time. They will complete the almost impossible task within one and a half years to achieve technological breakthroughs and produce China's own satellite rubidium atomic clock. Every laboratory is an invisible battlefield at this time. The deadline for Beidou 2 to lift off to keep the frequency band is less than two years. This is undoubtedly a huge challenge suddenly for the domestic rubidium atomic clock manufacturer who was only used as a backup before, now ushered in an upgrade status overnight, 
on which the Bay Dao solely depends. In order to break through the technical challenge of atomic clocks as soon as possible, the Bay Dao team has established three sub-teams to carry out research and development at the same time, and simultaneously advance in the fields of basic theory, materials, and engineering. They set themselves a goal to develop an atomic clock with an error of only 10 to the minus 12th power. In other words, this atomic clock will only have an error of less than one second every 100,000 years. These three teams all be able to work together and encourage each other. The good news is that all the results three teams achieved had been used on the satellites. The results are excellent. In fact, our team has worked tirelessly for a long time, and our technical level has already made a leap advance. We have achieved 10 minus 13, 14th, and 15th powers accuracy. We were cornered by the situation. In the end, there is no other way but have to do ourselves. Our scientific and technical staffs rely on this kind of spirit and hard work to finally be carved. With a solid technical foundation and a race against clockwork attitude, by the year of 2007 that is the last year of the seven-year deadline, we have overcome the most important technical difficulties and successfully completed the atomic clock made in China. After overcoming a series of technical difficulties, the first satellite of Beidou-2 was launched on April 14, 2007. It was more than half a year ahead of schedule. According to ITU rules, only the reception of satellite transmission signals is deemed to have effectively obtained the right to use the frequency. Almost everyone is staring at the time. In order to preserve the right to use the frequency, the ITU also imposed a requirement that the satellite must send back signals within 88 hours after launching. On-orbit debugging and adjustment usually takes seven days. Wait patiently until 8 p.m. on April 17, the receiver interface suddenly jumped. The Bay Dao 2 finally sent the first clear signal more than 84 hours after launch. That is less than four hours to the deadline for the activation of the frequency prescribed by the ITU. At that time, I still remember when our first satellite signal was sent, we set up a table in the field and placed a dozen receivers on the table. When a signal was received, all the people in the entire field cheered and jumped. I was so happy and wept with excitement. This is also a release of pressure. I was so relieved. For Bei Dao, 2007 is the most important year. The successful completion of that seven-year limit mission greatly inspired the enthusiasm of Bei Dao people. In 2010, Bei Dao satellites entered an intensive launch period, and the technical level of the entire team became more and more advanced. The experience of satellite transmission has also become more mature. Our Bay Dao squeezed into the Global Satellite Navigation System Club almost at the last moment when the door was about to be completely closed. At this point, Bay Dao, which was staggering but courageously forward, finally began to burst out a majestic force. As of 2012, 16 satellites have successfully launched. The launching method of two satellites with one launch has accelerated the launch speed of Bay Dao satellites. At the Bay Dao Satellite Navigation System press conference on December 27, 2020, Bay Dao Satellite Navigation System spokesperson Ran Cheng Chi, director of the China Satellite Navigation System Management Office stated that the second step of the Bay Dao Satellite Navigation System construction task has been successfully completed since that day. Starting today, the Bay Dao system has officially provided continuous passive positioning, navigation, timing, and other services to most of the Asia-Pacific region. On the basis of intermittently retaining the Bay Dao Satellite Navigation Test System, active positioning, two-way timing, and short message communication services. 
After completing the service mission in the Asia-Pacific region, the Bay Dao Satellite Navigation System has accelerated the speed of global networking. In 2015, a new generation of Bay Dao satellites was launched into space. On November 5, 2017, two satellites of Bay Dao 3 were launched for the first time. On the basis of the Bay Dao 2 system, the Bay Dao 3 satellite navigation system has further improved its performance and expanded its function. Over the years, the Bay Dao people have gradually experienced and precipitated their Bay Dao spirit in tackling difficulties time after time. All components of Bay Dao 3 have reached 100% domestically made. The core technology is completely autonomous and controllable by ourselves. From the early stage of design, Bay Dao team set up a goal actually trying to have all parts and components made domestically. The localization of all components undoubtedly means higher cost and longer time. For China's Bay Dao satellite navigation system, there is no other choice. At the time of the test launch, for a transfer wave tube amplifier, a foreign company changed mind and said that no longer could sell to us under government control. This was what happened when the Bay Dao 3 test satellite was developed in 2014. The transfer wave tube used for microwave power amplifier is the core component of the satellite. Without it, the satellite would become an island, cannot connect with the outside world. But at this time, China Bay Dao has made its own preparations. In fact, we have not been hurting. We already have domestic companies been working on. Some of their products have already been made. After testing and trials, it fully met our requirements. Although taking precautions, the transfer wave tube has been domestically produced through collaboration. But we will still face certain risk if it is used on satellites. Real decision-making also requires courage and responsibility. At that time we decided to use domestic products. In fact, the development of China's Bay Dao system has taken a path of its own, technical route and development route. At the same time, we also contributed the wisdom of the Chinese to the world's satellite navigation technology system. In addition to the domesticization of components and core devices, Bay Dao Satellite has also implemented many unique new technologies, inter-satellite links is one of them. The inter-satellite link is a kind of interconnection between satellites. The realization of the satellite navigation system's service to the ground users depends not only on the satellites in the sky but also on the ground operation control system. This is what we usually call the ground base station. The ground base station must continuously measure the orbit of the satellite and determine the orbit position to put accurate and correct navigation data into practical applications. Since it is impossible for us to build ground base stations around the world like the GPS of the United States, in order to solve the data transmission channel of Beyond Our Boundaries, Bay Dao 3 adopts an integrated design of transmission function between satellites and ground base station. That says intercommunication between satellite and satellite, and between the satellite and ground base stations. The inter-satellite link is like building a communication network between satellites that is to extend the communication between the ground station and the satellite to the communication among the satellites. That is to say, as long as the ground station issues an instruction to a certain Bay Dao satellite, the instruction can be continuously transmitted between the satellites. All satellites can operate in accordance with this instruction so that the entire constellation can operate accordingly and remain accurate. With this inter-satellite link, it will not only greatly improve the navigation accuracy of our national navigation satellites, but also reduce its dependence on the ground station and increase the autonomy of the entire navigation satellite constellation. In order to achieve independent innovation, the Bay Dao project R&D and construction team consists of more than 300 companies and more than 80,000 personnel. The National Superior Scientific Research Force has long formed a National Grand Strategy Plan. Starting from November 2017, 
China has launched 30 Beidou-3 networking satellites and two backup satellites of Beidou-2 in 32 months with a 100% success rate. At the speed of one satellite per month, it has broken a new record for the launch of the world's navigation satellite network. Today's Beidou-3 has inherited and developed Beidou's characteristic hybrid constellation design, short message communication function, world-leading inter-satellite link, and signal system. All equipped with domestically made high-precision satellite atomic clocks, and core components are 100% independently domestically made. It can provide positioning, navigation, timing, satellite to ground, ground-based enhanced short message communication, precise single-point positioning, international search and rescue, and other diversified services for the world. We have already achieved a higher precision rubidium atomic clock. At present, we have invented the world's first dual-frequency hydrogen atomic clock and used it on the Beidou-3 satellites. In order to achieve a better usability, we also invented the seamless clock time slot exchange technology. The seamlessness mentioned here is not really seamless, it means extremely fast, with an interval of only 20 picoseconds, that is 10 to the negative 12th power of second. The atomic clocks on the satellites of Beidou-3 surpass that of GPS. Furthermore, we have developed the world's first laser-cooled atomic clock. An atomic clock based on laser-cooled rubidium atoms, Chinese scientists first successfully in orbital microgravity, made the atoms are cooled, trapped, launched, and finally detected after being interrogated by a microwave field using the Ramsey method. Using laser beams from different angles to shoot at the atoms to trap them as if the atoms are locked up in the positions with very limited movement. So that the temperature can be lower near zero Kelvin. Using this principle, we now use laser beams achieved to trap the atoms and nearly freeze them so that the thermal effect is near zero, that is to say its temperature is near zero Kelvin. The cold atomic clock we developed is even better than the hydrogen atomic clock. Due to thermal effect, the frequency of atomic clocks will slightly drift. For rubidium atomic clocks, we need to inject a cooler and calibrate once every one to two hours. Even for a hydrogen atomic clock, we need to inject and calibrate once every one or two days. For laser-cooled atomic clocks, we do not need to do so, because of near zero Kelvin temperature. In theory, we may need to do it once every 30 years. The atomic clock on our space lab Tiangong-2 is the laser-cooled atomic clock. This is the world's first laser-cooled atomic clock in space. It is my pleasure to tell you that in next year, our new launched Beidou satellites will be also equipped with laser-cooled atomic clocks. This will make our Beidou system into another leapfrog advance level. In the summer of 2020, the United Nations Office for Outer Space Affairs commented in a letter of congratulations to the Beidou Global Network. Only with a long-term and lasting commitment to space can achieve this result. When the Beidou No. 3 project completed the global network, few people knew that there were more than 400 entities including research institutes, companies, manufacturers, universities, and more than 300,000 scientific researchers in the country participated. In 2020, 50 years have passed since the Lighthouse project. It has been 37 years since Mr. Chen Fang Yun's dual satellite positioning concept. It has been 26 years since the Beidou-1 project was established. Looking back, I think all Beidou people will sigh in their hearts. Not easy. We will also feel, does the term of Beidou just refer to the seven stars in space and the 55 satellites that we network? Yes, and not only. For China, Beidou has already surpassed the spiritual connotation of its engineering itself.
action, open and integrity, one mind, pursuit of excellence. Those who have achieved Bei Dao almost all give the best time in their lives to their ideals. The heavy equipment of the country that illuminates behind him is condensed into the Bei Dao spirit of the new era.